One interesting perception about the yearly December 25th set aside by Christendom to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ is the interpretation of its significance by different religious leaders and individual persons. Those who interpreted it from the surface level believe it was a cultural and religious festival among Christian faithful. But some pastors and reverend who spoke to Delegate TV on the significance of the birth of Jesus Christ viewed from spiritual and divine perspective. And we really want to thank God for bringing us most especially to a season of Christmas where uh, it is full of uh, celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Christmas is a season of hope. It's a season that brings joy and new beginning to life. If Christ was born to save us from our sins, also to save us to live a happy life. And therefore I trust that Christmas season will bring a lot of happiness and prosperity to us. And also Christmas will bring us closer to God also. Christmas also will make us to have hope in the Almighty God. Uh, significance of Christmas is that at this season, we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And during this season, it is a period where we have hope because God liberated, saved human beings by becoming like one of us. The birth of Jesus Christ is a birth of a new hope, new beginning because it is a period that God himself so felt that we are in sin and gave his only son Jesus Christ to be born like one of us in order to save us. So there is salvation, a time of Christmas, because it is a period where God saved us from the bondage of sin. And Christmas also is a time of peace because the birth of Jesus Christ signifies peace in the world and Christmas season signifies time of joy because his birth brought joy to the world when the world was so dark when the world was in sin and the birth of Jesus Christ brought joy the birth of Jesus Christ signifies happiness and also the, the, the life that we're supposed to live in reconciliation with God. Therefore, uh, Christmas is a period where we have a new hope in God. While we were sinners, God, in His intimate, intimate mercy, gave His only Son to be born like one of us, to suffer on this world, and also to understand our situation. And therefore, we have salvation in Christ Jesus through the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the most significant um, significance of Christmas to me that we have new hope, we have peace, we have joy and the salvation for man again to live and to have peace in his or her life. Back to the body um, organization I belong to, Assemblies of God, um, as a church, the significance of uh, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ is um, Christ was born to redeem mankind from destruction. Man, mankind was out of its way. Um, God's plan for mankind, man had deviated from that plan. And so in order for man to be restored back, the only option that God had was to give his only begotten son who was born on this day that um, we have been celebrated is being celebrated so that is the significance of it man christ is born to redeem us from destruction from death so that's the significance of it to me and to the church when you when you are a christian like me there is no christianity without the birth um birth of the lord jesus christ because Christianity started 
Christianity is Christ likeness and the bet is Christmas is the birth of Christ which all Christians follow so for us the celebration is symbolic and the celebration reminds calls to mind that God always has a beginning for whatever work he wants to do and for entrenching Christianity in our lives and getting a man near him he had to begin with the virgin birth so today we actually talked about uh, one of the things we talked about was the virgin birth it is through the virgin birth that our Lord Jesus Christ came so the celebration is worldwide everybody in the world is celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and we are part of the Christian community that celebrates the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ so it is a happy moment it is a moment of forgiveness it's a moment of of hope hope for life hope for the creation the entire creation so it is a significant time in the life of Christian and in the life of the whole world the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ actually brought peace to the world so the peace we are enjoying is because of the message of Christ that began with the birth of Christ the significance of this celebration it was for the gift of God for us to be redeemed from our sin and the sin of our forefather. It is a free gift. And the son voluntarily came by himself. Since that, he came to redeem us. So as such, it's necessary at this time for we, the Christians, to live in Jesus. But Paul of us will say, I live in Jesus and I die in Jesus. The birth of Jesus from the scripture has been a very unique moment in the life of Christendom all over the world, marking the birth of the Savior who the Father sends to come and redeem us from destroying us. And so the birth of Jesus has been a significant because if not the birth of Jesus, remember, man was lost when Adam has committed sins and Jesus came to broker the deal between us and God again. And so his bed has brought in again hope into mankind. The great significance of it that all of us, not only those who are marking it, but I'm telling you that the entire world are marking this day. This season is a season for the entire world. Christ came not for a particular tribe, not for a particular group of people. But it came particularly for the entire nation, for the entire salvation. It's a salvation journey that it came for, so that mankind can be restored back to him. When they lost from the Garden of Eden, and it came purposely so that man can be restored back to him. Okay, the significance of Jesus Christ to mankind, Christmas is that the day Jesus Christ born was born. And this earth, he was born the significant of the birth of Jesus Christ is to save mankind. And to the nation Nigeria, you found out that Christmas, you found out that the region, the origin of Christmas is that this, this 25th, this is, we, we mark it as the day that Jesus Christ was born. It was, it was, it was the day that the Roman Empire, that is the origin of Christmas, I want to take you to the region of Christmas. When we said 25th, it been the day that was this day was an ancient day that the Roman um, the Roman Empire established the 25th of December to be the day that the idol worshiper will gather all over the world to what to celebrate and the birth of Jesus Christ by the by our forefather. You found out that when Constantine, the king, the emperors of uh, Rome was, was about to go and fight a, an enemy, and he saw the cross. The cross he saw was under the cross was written what? It was written victory. And he promised that time there was what? A serious persecution over Christianity. And he promised that if these people that we are persecuting them, he will go to the battle because I saw he written that victory over the cross of that Jesus Christ that every people, all people were carrying. And he promised that when he, he go and conquer, he will come and walk and celebrate that 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 that, that, that throne. As he went, he went to the battle to the he went to the battle and he conquered. 
then he come back and he make what Christianity a what Christianity as the what as the religion of the nation of Rome generally. Then he said the father he said at twenty feet. 25th of December has been an idol day of worship in Rome. Let us make that 25th as the birth of Jesus Christ. Let us celebrate, let us accord that the idol worship of that 25th. Let us all celebrate that 25th as the birth of Jesus Christ. Therefore, the significance of the birth of Jesus Christ to the nation Nigeria is that we should come together and worship the Lord. We should come together to show the light of the Lord to the nation. Let us come and celebrate together. Show our love. Jesus Christ, come and die. That 25. Let us also show that love. Let us show that love to the nation. Let us leave our idol worship. Let us leave the evil we have been doing. Let us leave the corruption in the nation like that. And let us be transformed as the Roman Empire was transformed. As the, the, the nation of Rome was transformed because of what? Because of the death of Jesus Christ. The, the message to the nation. I am telling the nation that let us what is 25. Let us be a day of transformation to every human being in this nation, Nigeria. Let us be what? A day of what to a day that every human being will be transformed and be showing love to one another, no tribalism, no nationalism to the whole nation of the world. And that is the significance of the birth of Jesus Christ, which is 25. Uh, the significance of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to mankind is he has come to save man. His birth has come to, to be that has come to be a blessing to us all. One of his significance is showing love and care to the needy. To those that are in need, show love, show care. It's a, tower, it's a time of giving, showing love, visiting the needy, the less privileged in the society. I'm praying for the nation, praying that there will be peace in this country, Nigeria, to the glory of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. On the final note, the men of God advise Nigerians to be united in peace, love, and unity as a reason to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Augustus Oche Ifene. Delegate TV, Abuja.